pride more than anything, you know, but I haven't allowed myself to really feel this because I'm preparing for the next match, and now it's Purdue. You know, after Connecticut, I was preparing for Temple. After Temple, it was South Florida. After South Florida, it was Central Florida. And now, preparing for tonight, I'm excited and proud, but now I want to get upstairs and start prepping for Purdue. I honestly think I knew in two a days. Um, and I say that because last year at this time, my team came to me at Ozona, and we were in a selection show just like this, and were severely disappointed when we didn't see our name on the screen. Um, I cried out of disappointment for kids like Caroline Young, um, who bled for SMU Volleyball for four years. Um, but her teammates that were returning came to me that night and said, it doesn't matter what you have to do, make sure that we are scheduled tough so that conference is easy enough for us to get through it because the committee will not make this decision for us again. And from that moment, they put themselves on a mission and I knew all summer long my captains were calling practices and writing practices, and they were all attending practices. They were doing that on their own. Um, they were in the weight room all summer. When they came into two-a-days, now back to why I said two-a-days, we were so far ahead of schedule in terms of what we were able to do technically and physically that I knew we had a shot. and. The preseason was the toughest preseason that I've ever scheduled. And so when we played here at Moody and we dropped one to a very good, very large, tall Arizona team, I knew we, we had a chance because we were in a set, I think it was the fourth set, and we were up 23-18. We ended up dropping the set and dropping the match, but I knew because we had a point spread against a Pac-12 team that was more dominant than us physically, and we ball handled well enough and played good enough defense, that if we continued to progress throughout the preseason, we were going to beat somebody. I didn't know when or whom, but I knew that if every day our mission was to get better as a staff and as a team, that we were gonna beat somebody. And we ended up beating a couple people you know, that were very good teams. We beat a good Santa Clara team. We beat a very good San Diego team. We played against a humongous UCLA team and lost that, but played well in spots, you know. And uh, we beat a good New Mexico team. We beat a, a good TCU team who got into the tournament. So going into conference, I just, I just had a really good feeling, and it all started in two-a-days. I didn't think it would take this long. It certainly wasn't the plan. You know, my plan was four to six years, which that was probably a real cocky plan. But uh, that being said, we've also had some pretty devastating bumps in the road and been a bubble team three or four times with a really strong RPI and didn't get the nod. You know, it's, it's not easy building a program from the ground up, but I've put some diligent effort into becoming nationally recognized and doing that step by step. You know, the initial step was to make sure that we won conference titles, um, at least being ranked in the top three of leagues. We've been in a variety of them. Um, and then regional rankings, getting kids recognized by all region committees and all American committees was huge. Um, and then, obviously, doing what we're doing right now. Huge step. Well, I think, you know, one of the things that I struggled with when I came, and we talked about this being 20 years ago and building it from the ground up, I didn't realize how difficult it would be to recruit and build without tradition. Like, in my young coaching brain, I didn't factor that in. When I was told I had an opportunity to build something from the ground up and it be mine, I was excited about it and I thought, well, that'll, that'll be easy, right? But 
when you start recruiting your first class with a variety of female athletes that are not volleyball players, you know, there's no tradition. And so what does the NCAA tournament do? It starts to build that tradition at a higher level that recruits can recognize, that the national volleyball community can recognize. You know, that SMU is a great place not only to be educated, but to play ball. And that's a huge step in building the program. Um, I would venture to guess that they're going to be bigger than us and probably more physical. Um, but that being said, we played in a preseason where everyone was bigger than us and everyone was more physical. But what we did was challenged our defense and our serving and passing game. And so initially, that's my thought. We're going to have to hone in on that this week. And we've proven that we can play with those teams.